Um, thanks, Greg and Fenome team for the opportunity to present DQ Labs. Uh, I just want to share something very interesting that's happening in today's world. If you see the amount of data that's growing, it's almost growing to 175 zettabytes in 2025, which is almost like 61 percentage than where we are. Uh, I will also share an experience which I got like a couple of days back. I got an email and a uh, printed mail campaign for refinance. And when I looked into my refinance mail campaign and the printed letter, my name was spelled wrong. So even though the data is growing on one side, still we are facing issues like data quality, basic things like not knowing or not having the right information on customers, which poses a bigger and bigger issue. All in all, this, is, this challenge is even being more complicated with the growth in data, and then also data is stored in different locations, on-premises, cloud, uh, internal systems, third-party vendors, APIs, etc. And this makes it even more challenging to the manage the data that we have. So that's why we said like, enough is enough, and we went on and created DQ Labs. The difference between other solutions and what DQ Labs offer is, DQ Labs manages your data all automatically. And how we do that is using sophisticated technologies like AI and ML. So it's almost like a platform that autopilots your data and helps fintech organizations to leverage data strategy and help improve the customer experiences, sales marketing campaigns, and even regulatory complaints and mandates that you may have for banking or financial regulations. Uh, all in all, more positive experience and increased revenue. Okay, great, Raj. So, you know, I can see how a fintech organization might be challenged with the growth in data and the inability to find good data. How does DQ Labs help organizations find the data they have and, and understand the difference between what is good and what is bad? Yeah, good question, Greg. Let me show my uh, demo of this platform. Um, so you here on the screen, you will see a catalog of data assets that has been already configured. Uh, so DQ Labs comes with out of the box connectors. Uh, as you can see, like it connects with lots of different connectors out of the box. And as we ingest each one of those data sources, we use technologies like AAML behind the scenes to catalog and make it easy for organizations to search. So example use cases. Let me say like I want creating this report and I want to find people with all uh, salary information. And simply they can come here and search salary and it will refine the data assets that has this information. Further, they can in, de refine that results by saying, okay, I need data sets which are of higher quality like this one, or even, even stringent, be stringent and go into this one data set and then look into this. So this allows organizations to understand easily without spending much time, as I was showing in fraction of seconds, anything that they are looking for easily and immediately. Uh, the other example of this is they also can look into those attributes and also have a preview of the data sets here and look into it if this is the data they are looking for and et cetera. So this is all done automatically. Further, our filters comes with lots of different filters. You can filter by source type. You can also filter by use, users. And then you can also search by different data sets or even attributes for that matter. Uh, and everything is identified by a data quality score. And this data quality score helps you to understand how much percentage of this data is good and bad. Again, as I was pointing out, there is no manual effort that is needed and everything is done automatically. Cool, so if that's the case, uh, can FinTech also use DQ Labs to identify those PII sensitive elements within their organizations and, and make sure they're managing the regulatory compliance side of things, you know, with the GDPR, CCPA, and other banking regulations? Yeah, yeah, exactly, we do that. And also, if you can see in this field, we have something called a sensitivity level. Uh, every data asset that is ingested is categorized into the sensitivity level of one, two, three. One meaning uh, very loosely defined and not much of a higher sensitivity. Three is very sensitive, like PA information. So if you have like hundreds and hundreds of data sources already connected in the platform, a user can simply come and say like, hey, I want to look into all my higher sensitivity elements. 
and they can just filter it down and you can see us here. And then if that's not enough, or if they want to like just come and search, okay, give me all the assistant information. Um, and then they can also see this. One cool thing you can see here is not all SSN information is stored as SSN. Sometimes it may be stored as a field like CCC underscore employees, which has no relevance with social security numbers. But DQ Labs has the technology to identify even if it is named different or encoded different depending upon the systems, still identify that and mark it as a SSN and given the right sensitivity level, plus further identify the data quality. And this kind of autopilot mode uh, of operation helps users in fintech not spend on managing the data, but spend time on managing the customers and its experiences related to that. Cool. So you know, it looks great that DQ Labs helps to search and find data sets automatically, but but can it also help identify bad data? Yeah. So let me take an example of this. Uh, let me go here, and uh, I have configured a data from one of the uh, load processing system. Let me go into this one application with this data. And as you can see here, as we pull the data, we identify the each and every element that is, and then sense what kind of data and semantic type and the business context of this field, and then create this uh, set of data quality rules automatically. Because of that, what it allows us to do is, uh, it's easily identifies all the bad data out of the box. So example, I'm looking at a first name. As in the example I was showing, I got a letter with my name wrong. Uh, all those things can be easily fixed and identified here. So example, in this example, it has identified uh, names with special characters uh, or numbers. And it, it like that there, you can see like multiple names or seniors, prefixes, and et cetera. Uh, further down, you can see like it has also identified business names that are coming in as part of the consumer names. These problems actually make the fintech organizations today to not make the emotional connection with the customers as they could do otherwise. Uh, not only that, depending upon different fields and different things, we have lots of rules and algorithms all done automatically for the users so they don't have to spend any time here. And all it does is automatically find and show the bad data so the users can go into the source systems and fix those plus also brings it back into a higher level data quality score. So just by looking into this, okay, I know like this data asset is 75% good or 80% good, and I can use it for this purposes in reporting analytics and et cetera. Cool, so we're at about two minutes left, but another question for you, um, does DQ Labs automatically clean up that bad data? Yeah, good, good question. I mean, that is uh, essentially what we are doing. We are making an automated platform that allows users and FinTech organizations to connect data profile data and then curate. So in this example, let me take a simple example like a city. Uh, and then I will say like, uh, even, even though we have so much data and so much uh, systems today, still there is the basic problems like cities are not coming in the right values. So here you can see uh, the city of Spokane spelled in or, or so many different ways, which is misspelled. Uh, creating rules and uh, systems to fix this takes a lot of time but DQ Labs does automatically for you and uh, enhances the data quality of this. Here is another example I will do this. Uh, like the, the we would look in the auto manufacturer name. And again, if you see, we are using different algorithms, uh, which kind of automatically curates this data and then also gives you the impact percentage for the users and also gives an option for the users to say like, hey, is this something I wanted as part of my cleaning or not? And this kind of ability uh, in autopilot mode helps of fintech organizations improve overall uh, the quality of it and then use it for relevant purposes. So as you saw in this demo, uh, Greg, like uh, we, our focus is with growing data needs and the challenges that we have already not solved is gonna be becoming more and more complex. So you need an autopilot and an automated platform such as DQ Labs to take care of your data, manage your data, so you can focus on the customer experience and improve your revenues and your satisfactions towards all functions and departments that you provide. Uh, so if you want to manage data smarter, uh, please do use DQ Labs and feel free to reach us at the booth or email uh, so we can show more detailed demos and also talk any partnerships and investment opportunities. Thank you.